in this video we will learn trading time so click on the setting and go to trade time so by default it is set to 00, zero. this means that the all trades are going to carry forward if your trade is carry forward then set the 00, zero settings so what happened so whatever the trade left on the previous day will, will be closed on the next day so here you can see the last day the trade is open around 15 15 3 15 pm and it will close the next day so here no trade will be closed at the end of the day if you set the zero zero but suppose if you want to trade intraday and you want to bind bound your timing so you have to set your timing so by manually you can set suppose my trading will start around 9 15 and the trade will end around 15 0, 0. that means 3 o'clock so up to 9 15 to 3 it will uh, behave from behave using the entry signal and exit signal and the, if any entry came just before the 3 o'clock and no exit signal is purchased then we have to set the square of time so when we set 15 0, 0 to 15 30 this is the last minute so what happened up to from 9 15 to 3 o'clock it's behave normally and take the signals from entry and exit but whatever the last entry is there if any then it will close after 3 o'clock on the first close so here is the one minute so it will close around 3 and 1 1501 so 15 at 15 o'clock see this candle is start from 15 o'clock and close at 1501 so here you can see square off so so by that way we can see the trade open at the morning and the any trade it remain is around suppose this is the 244 the last entry will close around 3 o'clock because any no any uh, exit signal came here for uh, ATR train so it closed automatically around 3 o'clock so here the most important thing is your exit time so suppose if I set 3 minutes so what happened so at after 3 o'clock after 3 o'clock so this is 3 o'clock candle and it close around 1503 so your closing will be 1503 so when we set 1 minute it will close 1501 when we set 3 minutes it's close 1503 when I set 5 minute time frame so it will close around 1505 you can see here 1505 so by that way the at least one close must be come within this range and excluding this time so suppose if you are setting the 15 minute if you are setting a 15 minutes so let's say I change the some settings here support and settings so 15 minute how you will set let's say it's a one button so I can conclude okay so here we can see when I set 9.15 to 3 o'clock so after 3 o'clock the next the next close will be 3.15 so I can set 15.50.30 what happened if I if I set 15.15 and this is 15.15 so there is no square of at end of the day even if I set 15.15.50.30 because because no close will be found here I can see the square of but this is the end of the day 3.30 and 3.30 there is no market is open so even the signal is here your trade will not execute because at the end of the day the close time you cannot you, you cannot square off at exactly 15.30 so here we have to set 15 we have to at least take the trade 15.00 and we have to set the 15.00 so on around this 3 o'clock candle it will close on 315 so you cannot be you cannot go ahead of 315 because the next close is exactly 330 so even if i cannot set maybe 1510 see even if i set 1510 1530 so it also not close on the 1515 so this range is very important you cannot set like that even 15 15 is come between the 15 10 and 15 30 but this time should be should have at least the 15 minutes gap 
so always remind uh, always remember that whenever you set 15 minutes you multiply with the 2 15 into 2 so the last gap should be a uh, 30 minutes so i set 15 0 0 suppose if you want a uh, 5 minute close okay so how many maximum minutes you can you can do for the exit time 5 into 2 means 10 minutes so it is last you can set up to 15 20 beyond that you cannot set 15 25 or like that you have to set 15 20 and 15 30 so you can see the exit signal exactly just before the last candle for any other you can count the same suppose if the, if the one minute so i can set maximum one into two one so it's a two so i can set maximum 15 28 I can I cannot set 1529 I have to set 1528 so maximum it will close at 1529 but always remember that if you set beyond the 1515 you should very careful when you go for algo you have to set always delivery because if you set intraday order and if and you set the time square of time if 15 1520 or 1528 whatever after the 315 so what happened your broker will square up automatically because at intraday orders broker have any last time it's maybe 315 it's maybe 320 if your order is mis or intraday it will square off automatically so if you want fire the trade of intraday so you have to set the time according to the your broker square of time it must be before your broker square of time otherwise you will be charged around 50 rupees for broker side square off so better if you want the uh, beyond the time if you want to use the, above the 315 always fire the order in the delivery mode not the intraday mode 